I can't go to my my parents and say, mom and dad, how did you handle smartphones when we were kids? Yeah. Because there were no smartphones right. when I was a kid. I've talked to a lot of young people who've uh, grown up in homeschool where they actually had a lot of free time yeah. to spend. And they confess that a lot of that time was spent uh, in front of a screen consuming entertainment media, whether it was video games, mm -hmm. the internet, unfortunately, things like porn. And uh, those are the things that kind of break, break your heart and say, wow, we really need to uh, better place a focus on, on our time. So, yeah, so, so definitely this has not been anything new. It's just things aren't getting better. They're getting worse. And we have no ancestral wisdom. This is the right. thing. I can't go to my, my parents and say, mom and dad, how did you handle smartphones when we were kids? Yeah. Because there were no smartphones right. when I was a kid. Mom and dad, how did you handle the internet in the house? Well, there was no internet in the house. Right. You know? so, so there's no ancestral wisdom that I can gain. Uh, things have changed so quickly. So it's really incumbent upon us as parents in this generation to develop that wisdom Right. And to not only apply it in our homes, but my goal is not just to apply it in my home, is to equip my children to be able to pass on new skills, new um, important areas of discernment and biblical wisdom to apply to this. Because I'm not, I don't, I'm not anti-media. I'm not anti-technology. I have websites. I use multimedia. I run a film festival. <laughs> you know, right, so. right definitely not against media or entertainment or, or technology. It's just, we, we don't handle it very well. And right. we've, we've proven that time and time again. So we, we need to learn uh, to handle it better. We need to gain that wisdom and we need to pass it on to our kids. 